The bigger the bottle, the better the bargain, right? I'm a complete beginner looking to improve my palate and learn more about bourbon. So come along with me. Well, not really in some cases. All right, so this is the normal 750. And let's just pretend these are all the three of the same bourbon because I didn't have three of the same bourbon and different bottle sizes. But this is the normal 750 milliliter bottle that you see on the shelves. And uh, it's also called a fifth. You know, we'll go into it maybe in another uh, uh, video why they call this a fifth. This guy is a one liter. Uh, it's right around a quart. Sometimes you'll, you'll call this a quart. And this is a 1.75 liter. Uh, a lot of times you'll, you'll see this as a handle because it's, a lot of them have a handle on it, like a big old jug. And uh, this is almost a half gallon or just about a half gallon. That's what a lot of people call it still. And this this guy right here holds as much bourbon as these two guys put together. So you got a 750 and you're thinking, well, you know, maybe I can get a bargain because they got the one liter right next to it. And it costs a little more, but well, it's probably a lot less per, per ounce. Well, maybe not. In fact, in a lot of cases, the one liter costs you more per ounce than the 750. I did some research, you know, I tend to spend tens and tens of, minute, of minutes on the uh, internet doing some price lookups on some of the, the big box retailers. And for the same bourbons, usually the 175 is less per ounce. So you're getting a pretty good bargain if you've got the room for this big, big bad boy. But the one liter bottle, in a lot of cases, costs you more per ounce than the 750. So more than the standard. And that's really counterintuitive to what you would think. Uh, I know that grocery stores, they have to put on the labels on the shelves, you know, how much something is per ounce. So you can look at two different, you know, cans of something and you can compare, okay, this is a better value. I don't think they do that for liquor. So you kind of got to beware. So let's, let's play a little game. Oh, and I will say... This guy holds one third more than the 750. So if he's more than a third expensive than the 750, then you're paying more per ounce. So let's let's say as an example, if this guy was $30, and if, again, assuming these are the same bourbons, if this guy was $30, if this guy was more than 40, so that's $10 more, which is one third of 30, if he would cost more than 40 then yeah, you're getting kind of a little bit ripped off by buying the one liter. So let's play a little game called, Is It a Good Deal? All right, this 750 of Basil Hayden is $32.99 and the one liter is $52.99. Is that, is that one liter a good deal? It's $20 more. No, it's not a good deal. It's probably about 20% more per ounce than the 750. All right, how about that bullet one liter? At $35.99, is that a better deal than the 750 at $21.99? Nope, it's not a good deal. That one liter is 30% more expensive per ounce than the 750. How about that four roses at $24.49? Is that one liter a better deal than the 750 at 1949? The fate of the world hangs in the balance on your answer. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. It's about 6% less expensive. So, hey, who doesn't want a one liter of four roses? How about that one liter of Jim Beam Black? You'll feel like Frank Sinatra carrying around that bad boy by the neck. But is it a good deal? Is it a better deal than the 750? Well, no, it's about 7% more per ounce than the 750. But hey, you know, luck be a lady tonight. How about that one liter of Knob Creek 9? That's only about six bucks and some change more than the 750. Is that a good deal? Looks like a good deal. What do you think? Yep, it is a good deal. It's actually about... Uh, 8% uh, less expensive per ounce. Now how about that Maker's Mark leader? 
Is that a good deal? It's uh, 37.55 over 24.18. I don't know. What do you think? Nope, it's really not. It's about 10% uh, more, but it's still good. All right, last chance. Wild Turkey 101. Is that leader a better deal than the 750? You should be an old pro at this by now. Nope, it's no deal. And I hope you figured that one out because it's about 11% more expensive than the 750. All right, am I saying never buy the liter bottle? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. A liter bottle is pretty good and convenient. It's, you know, it's got more bourbon than the 750 and it doesn't take up that much more room. Not like this big guy. Put that thing on your shelf. He takes up a lot of room. Um, sometimes you can't find the 750 of what you want. And maybe all they got is the one liter. If so, go ahead and get it. So what if you're paying a little bit more per ounce? You know, hey, it's bourbon. This is this is to enjoy. This is to have fun. So, hey, that's fine. In fact, you might only be able to find something like this, a little 375. I mean, this is a this is a half size of this guy. And yeah, you're paying more per ounce, but sometimes, like in this case, that's all I could find of this guy was the 350, the 375. Or if you want to try something new or try something different. Just get one of these little samples, a little 50 milliliter. Yeah, it costs a lot more per ounce, but hey, you know, you're trying something out. If you don't like it, you're not out that much money. So I guess just buy the size that you want, but realize sometimes this guy is not the best deal. Okay, now I think it's time to drink some bourbon. All right. This week, in my palate improvement project, I've been drinking this Larceny Small Batch, and it's pretty good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a sniff, and uh, just see if my palate's changed, or if I'm tasting anything. It uh, smells the alcohol on it. Maybe a little fruit. But uh, I'm still still working on it. But it does smell good. And I tell you, this stuff does taste pretty good. So it has that caramel. For sure, maybe a little vanilla. But, uh, but oh yes, it's pretty good. I've been drinking this pretty much all week. And uh, really all I could get was the 175 and I got it. So, hey, sometimes you got to get what you got to get. And it's got a little bit of a bite. So, I'm on kind of a longer finish. Let's go ahead and uh, pour this guy over ice. And we'll try that out. So we're ice, one ice cube. <clears throat> I think that brings out more of the vanilla. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah, so that's pretty good. All right. So for this week, got a new bourbon, and this is two stars out of Louisville, Kentucky, and it is 86 proof, and it is from the Clear Springs uh, Bottling Company. I think this is a Sazerac brand, or they're, like, what isn't these days? But, uh, yeah, I actually bought that. This today is recommended to me by... Uh, a guy at uh, Total Wine, and uh, he gave me a sample. I'll say so, maybe I'm kind of cheating because I had, did have a little sample of it uh, this afternoon. So let's go ahead and, and uh, try it out. <clears throat> it's, a lot, it's a lot lighter. 
because I'm not really getting any of the like alcohol smell. It does smell sweet. Oh. Maybe floral? I mean, is that something that kind of tastes like flowers? But it's pretty smooth. I think the two stars is a reference to the Kentucky flag. That's what the guy was saying. So that's pretty cool. So let's try it over ice. That brings out a little spice. Just a little bit. <clears throat> but it's um it's pretty good. Yeah, I thought this was um uh, it looked a lot like the bottle for very old Barton. But uh and I'd seen this in the in the stores before and kind of passed it up. It was about, I think, $24, something like that. So not, not that expensive, but more than Virgil Barton. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty good. So I'll go ahead and drink this over the course of the next week and then come back and then give my impressions and do another tasting. And just see if my palate's improved. I'm really working to uh, improve my palate and learn more about bourbon. So if you want to come along with me on this journey, uh, take a bourbon. doesn't have to be one of the ones that I use. But do a tasting, neat, in a Glencairn, Glencairn, excuse me. Um, try to get the, the smell of it and you know what kind of notes you're getting, what you're smelling. Uh, taste it neat, taste it over the rocks, and then drink it over the course of a week, and then come back and taste it again, and just see if your palate's improving, if you're tasting anything different. So come along, come along with this journey with me. Uh, in the meantime, drink responsibly and enjoy.